What is up everyone? So we're freshly back from FD New Jersey and as you guys can probably tell, uh, I missed a video. So we tried filming a little bit differently at the event. We tried doing like a microphone interview style and honestly, I wasn't super hyped on the footage. It was just like, it wasn't good. And I didn't want to release the video. I was a little embarrassed by it, but uh, I apologize for missing a video and for the Patreons because I said I was going to do one for the Patreons too and I just was not happy with the footage. So oh, I'll make it up to you guys somehow. All right, so we're back. Uh, it is Monday. I'm exhausted from this weekend, but we got stuff to do uh, and stuff I'm excited about. So what we're waiting on today is engine mounts for the SR20 that's gonna go into the yellow S15. As you guys know, cause you watch all the videos, we got a VVL SR20, a real drive setup, and it's like the most gangster engine. It's the perfect engine for any S chassis. And, uh, and I wanna get it in ASAP so we could start pumping everything up and getting it right, even though we don't have the trans uh, yet. But it's getting somewhere and I just wanna drive the damn car. I'm so excited for it. So, and of course, shout out to everyone who picked up new merch on a new drop. We have a couple shirts left and a few key tags left, which the key tags were a hitter. If you want to cop them before they're gone, hop below, shop me up. But besides that, I actually did get the trans for the LS15. We have ourselves a brand new CD09 right here. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a 350Z trans, right? What's great about them is they're so freaking strong and it's a six speed, which is super dope. And the only thing that sucks about them is they're so damn big. Do you see how big this thing is? It's massive. To adapt it to the SR20, we actually need a whole bell housing adapter kit, which is ordered. It's just gonna take a couple weeks to come in. And that's why we're not gonna put the trans on the engine before we put it in, as much as I would love to. Right, T-Bone? He goes, that would be good. Shout out to Tom Hesser Nissan for helping us get a brand new CD09, super quick. Uh, I couldn't be more grateful. Put their Instagram right here. If you guys need any Nissan parts, old or new, they're the plug. So uh, shout out to the boys down there. So but besides that, we have some more updates on some builds. We actually were able to pick up the transmission for the 8.6 finally. So when we were down at FD, one of my buddies was there who was actually housing this thing for me. I have a mint S2000 transmission for the A86. Because as you guys know, we're going K-Series and oh, it's so hot. S2000 trans is probably the most convenient solution to running a transmission adapted to the K-Series in the 8.6. Now we really gotta get started on that project because I've been slacking and just having a hard time getting parts for that thing. And honestly, I hate to say this, I've never been really wooed by the beam swap in the 8.6, even though that's like the go-to move. Until my buddy got a new set of the Panic ITBs for his, and his engine hits. So it's got me thinking a little bit differently. Beams 8.6, K-Series 8.6. I already have so many parts bought for the K-Series 8.6. I told you already. But the beams, it's Look, easy. The beams in the 8.6. I know we've committed to the K-Series. Everyone will love that, I know that. I don't know. So here's the thing. All right. So we're still at that point where we could switch up things pretty quick. Cause I can, I can get a beams together and probably refresh faster. So we can get the K series in there, which is kind of funny. So hear me out. I hate doing this, but maybe we go beams in the A6. No, maybe. No, maybe. So I'm going to do a Definitely. poll. I'm going to make you guys pick this for me. I'm going to put this on your hands. Not everyone mine. wants to see a beams. So I'm going to pin two comments beams K series. Whoever gets the most likes, we'll put that in there. Maybe say the key series for uh, a Honda. It'd give me a good excuse to finally build a damn Honda. We want to do that. And I we, know I want to do that. I want to do that bad. So yeah. there's just a lot going on, but we'll make it happen. So let me know mm -hmm. below. But for now, let's wait for the postman so we can get that engine and the S15. Give me that nut. Oh, what the f is that? F what is that from? <laughs> Everything's <laughs> brand new. <laughs> Another piece that? of the puzzle showed up. Get the sway bar in. I help. <laughs> this is crazy. Everything's powder coated. How do I got that in my finger? Where the hell? Exactly. On the car. Yeah, it is a little dirty up here. When Ant sat down, maybe. <laughs> so you're on your lunch break. When you get back, engine will be in. You're this engine. No trans though. I gotta go in my engine. It's ready. Yeah. It's finally ready. It's ready. I gotta go get it. Looks like uh, we're getting the engine back in B Hall Z46. Yeah, I gotta go to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we drop this thing in, I wanna do a. <laughs> I'm not fully there today. Bro, I wanna do a couple things. Gotta get the manifolds off. They're like not even on, anyways. Oh, that's nice. The head was taped. That makes me happy. <laughs> Interesting. If your engine's gonna sit, just don't leave your ports open because then like moisture gets in the cylinders, on your valves, just not a good time. No. no. Also, if you guys want to see a recap on FD New Jersey, go watch DJ's video. I'll put the link in the description. It's actually really funny. A little wild. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a DJ video. That's for sure. <laughs> you can sit here. This one's definitely precious cargo. This intake, 
cost more than my first SR20. All right, so looking at the VVL head, look at the intake ports. They're huge. Could fit like three fingers, and you could put a whole hamster in there. Crazy. <laughs> if you come over to the real drive engine or the real drive head, you know it's kind of a it's a two finger. Mm -hmm. Maybe a baby hamster. That's interesting. A lot more. A lot more intake. Port. Yep. Yep. That, you know what I'm trying to say. We also have our freshly powder coated engine braces, right? It's gonna be for AC because we're putting AC in this thing, and we have the power steering which is dope because now for like the forever life of the engine, all we have to do is just wipe these pieces off and it'll always look brand new. Love that. Now the only thing that sucks is I wish we had like brand new hardware for everything. Luckily, with the accessories on, you don't see it. If we had time, I would send everything out to get zinc coated, but for now we'll throw these on. Maybe we'll go up to Tommy's this week and steal a bunch from him. We got the powered steering bracket because this car definitely needs power steering. Yeah, we're gonna go up to Tommy's and raid his zinc bin. I think that's, that's a, good a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Great idea. Great idea. Goodbye. Goodbye. Get this thing out of there. Fresh brackets. Love it. Aunt just told me the postman's here. So a uh, whole throw our packages here. Our d work package shows up today too. Ooh. Look at this. Look at this. We got boxes. Please have my engine mounts. d work. This is a big box. As you guys remember, the limiting factor on the Sonda is the fuel system. d works. Ooh. Ooh, it's getting the Sonda hooked up. Wow, they went crazy. Wow. Look at this. They sent me a surge tank from the Sonda. That's gnarly. How dope is that? It's like, a, it's, it's small, but that's all we need. Mount this to the side somewhere. So now when like we're drifting and accelerating fast, we don't have to worry about fuel slosh which is huge because that fuel cell on the Sonda isn't baffled too well. What else we got? Hose. Pump. Ooh, a 340. Little pump. Little pump. That's a big pump. Big pump. Two big pumps. Two big pumps. A bigger injector. Oh, Love that. Chunky. Getting this thing fueled up. That's sick, look at it. It's That's a relay dope. kit for the dual pumps inside the surge tank. That's dope. And then what, that? what else they said? Oh my God. Yes, Fittings sir. galore. Yes. So they sent us all new line and a bunch of AIM fittings to get this all together. So you works. need an entire room just full of these. Oh, hell yeah. So Deesh Works has us set up. So now we can get this Sonda fueled up and uh, make it more jam. So uh, I think maybe this week we should do this. I'm excited. I want to make 500 on the Sonda. Why? Because I can. You can. Because I can. And you will. Come on, what's in there? GK. New GK Tech mounts right here. It's dope because all the other aftermarket mounts are orange. Oh, that's so Yeah, these are black. Mm. Selling point. Sold. <laughs> they reproduce the OEM coolant overflow container, which is oh. really cool. That's so this sick. is a GK Tech part, not OEM. Looks OEM. Looks though. good. Right? OEM. The yellow S15, like I want to make things clean, but I don't feel the need to like delete and hide everything. Mm -hmm. I just want to let this look factory improved. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Instead of the Niz tune package, it's gonna be the Jim tune package. Oh. Jismo package. Nope. Get that. <laughs> Jim tune package. Usually factory overflow is a pretty ugly and hideous, right? Because it's usually just like a big bubble right here. S15, S14. Look at this. Look at this. Tucked. Where's it go? Right, right there. Factory tucked. Factory. It looks cool, right? Mm -hmm. It's a nice piece. GK Tech. I appreciate you for reproducing this piece. All right, so we're gonna throw the engine in as is. Uh, I'd love to get a little more things done before we put it in, especially have the trans hooked up, no, but great. that'd be great. But it's gonna take a little bit for the trans adapter to come in and I'm sick of waiting for parts. All I do is wait for parts. I wanna make some progress. So we're gonna get this thing in as is and basically the car will be the engine stand. But we could actually start getting some things plumbed because we have to do a lot of custom plumbing for coolant lines, intake stuff, exhaust stuff. And if the engine's in, we could do all of that. I think we can get the trans in in the car. Maybe that might be a little bit far-fetched, but we're gonna try. Worst case, we pull it back out. As long as we make progress, I'll be happy. Sound good? Sounds great. Now I could say I have a VVL SR20 S15. Doesn't mean you're done, but now I can say I have one. How fast can you say it? VVL S15. Real drive VVL Real drive VVL S15. Real drive VVL S15. Can't? Not possible. <laughs> Actually, DJ, let's put you on crane. Like DJ could be the crown. That's the most responsible job, I feel like. Exactly. Yeah, but I like the liability in your hands. <laughs> it's all on you, DJ. DJ down? Up. Here we go, boys. Here we go. All right, bring it down. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is since the head is bigger, and actually, look how far back this head goes. So usually the real drive head stops here. Look how much we have. The solenoid and everything, so. This might be close to the firewall. A little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, DJ. 
Uh, quiet on set, please. DJ, has a business call. Pick it up. Yeah, pick my, it up right now. my manager probably. Put on speakerphone. Oh, it's what do you want, bro? I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> Yo! He butt dialed me. Brian's notorious for butt dialing. Hi, how do you butt dial on a touch phone? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Listen to him. Brian at work. Hold up. It's 2022. How do you butt dial someone on an iPhone? Dude, you Brian, got dude, Brian, dude, Brian dude. butt dials all of us all the time. I don't understand how it happens. Face that... ID, passcode. <laughs> Only Brian. There we go. Come on. Oh, come on. You going in? Yeah, Oof. That's about it. Oh, that, dude, we might have to, oh, we might have to whack the pinch weld a little bit. I don't know about that plug, though. Does it hit it? The solenoid. Big moment. It's official. I can say I own a real drive VVL SO20. SO20. <laughs> In a couple more videos, you can say you own a running one. Ooh. The way we put the straps in, yeah. we can't remove once the engine goes <laughs> How did I not? I, I am so off my game today, I can barely speak. We've refilmed so many clips today because I can't even speak correctly. These are good straps. I'm pissed. Look at it. We wrap the strap around the engine mount so, so we can't remove it. Oh, no. Oh, these are good straps. Steve, if you're watching, you're going to be pissed. I'm cutting these straps. These are Steve's straps. I'll buy you new straps. Which Steve? Wow, Steve. Oh, no. Yeah. Wild He's going to be mad. I'll buy you Actually, that, he's gonna go, ah, fuck it, I do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it does look sick. I look sick with a Neo VVL cover in here. Mm. Oh man, JP would be so proud. I'm so happy, dude. It's fucking cool. You're so happy you could take a nap. Dude, this is so cool. Mm. Young Jim would be fucking very proud. Who would have thought? Not me. Oh. Actually, I probably would have thought. But. We're about 40% we're about there. That's pretty good. Not bad. All right, real question is if this is gonna fit in a right-hand drive car, because mm. originally this was going in a left-hand drive car. What are you guys doing over there? Uh, experiment. Do you need me? I think it should fit. I hope not broken hearted. I think it should fit. No, we'll make it. It's fit, please fit. Oh man, it fits it amazing. Fits. It fits. Look at it, look, it look, literally, okay, the temp sensors might not fit, but we're gonna change the pipe anyways, but throttle cable fits. We have plenty of room right here. The master cylinder fits, even with the um, fuel pressure regulator. Bro, that looks so sick. That looks so sick in there. Ah, oh, that looks so cool. So this is what it really needs. Ooh. An R-Tech manifold. This one's for the black S15, but. The other one looks cooler. We can put it on this. The other one looks cooler. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can't say it does it. I like that, like that spiral effect one that it's got yeah, in there. That's yeah, cool yeah. as hell. It does look cool. So I was told that the real drive manifolds do fit. You just have to like, oh. Never mind, they fit. Wow. <laughs> Someone told me you had to ovalize some These of the holes. Bigger. The welded tubular stainless manifolds, like it's such a vibe, right? Cause it looks all aftermarket and fancy. Yeah. But I've come to like really love this like almost high-end OEM look to it. Cause to me, what this looks like is like, like reminds me of like, say like an F1 team where like OEMs spend so much money on, on research and development. It, this seems like this is part like that would be on a car like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I see what you mean for this. I look at the other one and I'm like, that man, that this car cool. probably fucks. Yeah, and I look at this car and I said, man, this car really fucks. <laughs> <laughs> I love that though. That is super cool. Both of these are cool though in their own way. Dude, this is like overwhelming. This is like overwhelmingly awesome to see. It's crazy. You have three S15s. Yeah, but be besides that, yeah, I have an S15 with a Neo VVL in it. That's yellow. Love it. <laughs> so now the engine in the car, we actually learned a lot. Um, I have to mod the valve cover for sure to uh, clear the firewall. Cause that's the only thing that's super, super close besides the actual VVL actuator. It's pretty close, but I'm actually not super worried about it. I think that'll actually clear eventually. But I really would love to get a new cover and just start from scratch instead of kind of going over someone else's work. So if anyone actually has a VVL cover, cause I know you could buy these brand new, take forever to come in. Uh, let me know, I'd love to purchase it from you. Um, and then I also need a new cover cause mine came in brand new broken, which is a little upsetting. But uh, besides that, uh, I'm probably gonna run the Artec manifold. I just, I absolutely love these things. Um, from fitment, longevity, looks, performance, you honestly can't beat it. And that's not, I'm not saying that just because of like, like it's a sponsored product. It really, it honestly is just a fucking awesome product. 
very good. We're probably gonna go to Tommy's tomorrow because we have some things to vapor hone to get this thing together. I'm gonna try a new OEM water next because I don't really see myself having any benefit by being AN on this car. No. I like AN, but just this car, I don't really see a benefit. I'm gonna throw all the accessories on at once, once the new crank pulley shows up, and that's it, just quick work of it. Big hurdle is just waiting for the adapter kit to come in. Uh, we got it through Mazworks, and uh, I'm gonna keep calling them and hounding them, see if they can get it out quicker. So uh, besides that, dude, this is like, I don't know, seeing this in here right now, it's just kind of like blowing my mind, because it's just something I didn't think I'd be able to do, at least for a long time, and well, here it is. The universe is pretty crazy, but uh, I'm dying to work on the JZX too. Like I, we ha we finally have the car, we have the drivetrain. Now we're just waiting on a few more components. That uh, it's been a long time. The harness is in. I have the full entire drivetrain. Realistically, we're just waiting on the hot side of things, and we could just drop that. I might. We were planning on like lowering it and doing the whole wheel thing and enjoying it a little before we swap it, but I think it'd be kind of fun to swap it while it's still like stock height and stuff, and just rip it a little pull bit stock. Tire, pull the stock wheels off. Yeah, just like I don't know. I feel like I actually got like a stock tour of V fun. almost and then do that whole Coils, process yeah. but uh, honestly I'll probably get eager and put coilovers on it tomorrow no I'll hold you back I don't know maybe mm -hmm. so I know I don't update you guys too much on some things because there's always so much going on but the mini truck we still can't find an engine for that damn thing it's unfortunate because I hate having cars sit that don't run most of my cars either they do sit they do run and uh it sucks this thing has nothing in it but maybe we'll just have to wait until the right thing aligns but I haven't forgotten about it. I, I am still trying. And then the 8.6, right? The car is ready. It is beautiful. Spoon and Ratty did their thing. They got this thing ready to go. Now it's my job to put a damn engine in this thing. And I was I will admit that I have been slacking on that swap. I don't know why. The engine itself, I still haven't gotten two parts that I really need for it. After seeing the beams done right, I have somewhat have a change in heart. But you guys know me. I love my swaps. And I feel like a K-Series would feel insane in here. But... At this point, I'm such a mess. I can't, I, the problem is I think I can get a beams in here faster than the K-Series, which is nuts, even though I already have so much of it. I don't know, I'm a mess. I have too much going on, but I need your guys' input. Beams, K-Series, put it in the comments. We're gonna find out. I hate switching up on things. I'm usually pretty true to plans, but for this one, I just wanna get the car together and enjoy it. So, but for now, I gotta unpack from FD still and edit this video. So you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys very shortly.